Charles Darwin, a famous scientist, developed the theory of evolution, which was published in his book On the Origin of Species in 1859. Ninety-five years later, William Golding published the book Lord of the Flies. The book Lord of the Flies has a lot of symbolism in it. An example of a symbol in the book Lord of the Flies is the conch, because it is an object that has another meaning than its literal meaning. I like to call this its literary meaning. The conch evolved, in other words, changed throughout the story. The conch was introduced in the beginning of the story. Ralph and Piggy were checking out their surroundings when they spotted the conch laying among the ferny weeds near the lagoon. You can read this on page 15, and I quote, Ralph had stopped smiling and was pointing into the lagoon. Something creamy lay among the ferny weeds. After they find it, the boys decide to use it to call other boys on the island. We can use to call the others. Have a meeting. They'll come when they hear us. In this instance, the conch is symbolizing civilization. Having a meeting is a great way to group people in the same room at the same time and discuss issues to come up with a plan to resolve the problem. In a civilized manner, of course. Well, at least that's how they're supposed to work. The key word there is civilized. The plan the boys had to, was to use the conch to congregate everyone in a civilized manner by means of having a meeting. Their plan did work, and most boys started showing up because they heard the conch. A child appeared among the palms, about a hundred yards along the beach. Ralph glanced admiringly, and when Jack saw his glance, he explained, I tried to get over the hill to see if there was water all around, but your shell called us. As the story progressed, the idea of order and civilization started to fall apart. The boys were arguing and were not abiding by the rules they had set themselves. They were speaking when they didn't have the conch in their hand and interrupting those who had it. There's too much talking out of turn, said Ralph, because we can't have proper assemblies if you don't stick to the rules. The rules were not being respected when, bullocks to the rules, we're strong, we hunt. At this point, the conch is being disrespected and it's losing all its importance. With this being said, the civilization or order is falling apart because the conch is not being respected. This is from when the boys were arguing about the beast. The sound of the inexpertly blown conch interrupted them. As though they were serenading the rising sun, Jack went on blowing till the shelters were astir and the hunters crept to the platform and the little ones whimpered as now they so frequently did. Talk, said Ralph bitterly. Talk, talk, talk. He took the conch from Jack. Although you can tell the civilization is falling apart, Jack tried to keep it together when he disagreed with what was going on. He laid the conch with great care in the grass at his feet. The humiliating tears were running from the corner of each eye. The fact that he didn't slam it on the ground after a heated argument shows that he cared about the order or civilization that the conch represented. However, the dialogue leading up to this shows that the boys do not respect the conch and are making fun of it. The tone that Ralph used to talk to the person with the conch was very aggressive. Some would even say it's uncivilized. This sort of attitude continued. I tell you, I got the conch. I got this to say. You're acting like a crowd of kids. The booing rose and died again as Piggy lifted the white magic shell. The boys weren't listening to Piggy even though he had the shell. It took Piggy a while to get them quiet. This shows that the civilization is hanging by a thread. It would be a shame if someone w were to roll a boulder to hit it. Someone would say, Roger that. I believe I spoke too soon. That exact thing happened. By him, stood Piggy, still holding the talisman. The fragile, shining beauty of the shell, the storm of sound beat at them. An incantation of hatred. High overhead, Roger, with a sense of delirious abandonment, leaned all his weight over the lever. The rock struck Piggy, a glancing blow from chin to knee. The conch exploded into a thousand white fragments and ceased to exist. The author describes the conch to be fragile. 
meaning that the, that civilization can easily break. The previous quote shows that the conch was now gone and destroyed. This means that the civilization is gone because the conch is now destroyed.